here is try to solve the, the space transport problem and, uh, and started SpaceX. Um, and uh, this, this was against the advice of pretty much everyone I talked to. Um, my one friend made me sit down and watch a bunch of videos of rockets blowing up. <laughs> but, but even if it's, if it's sort of 99% likely, a 1% one, a 1 chance is still, it's still worth uh, spending a fair bit of effort to ensure that we have, um, we've backed up the biosphere, you know, planetary redundancy, if you will. Um, um, and so that, that I think is, is something worth noting. If, if you're going to create a company, the first thing you should try to do is create a working prototype. Um, you know, everything, everything looks great on PowerPoint. <laughs> you, can, you can make anything work on PowerPoint. Um, but I, I think the, the, the overarching point I, I want to make is that um, you, know, you, you guys are the, the magicians of the 21st century. You know, um, don't let anything hold you back. Uh, imagination is, is the limit. Um, and um, go out there and create some magic. Thank you. <clears throat> well, we went to, I went to Russia three times to, to look at buying um, a refurbished ICBM uh, because th that, that was the best deal. Um, and uh, I can tell you it was very weird going there in, in 2000, late 2001, 2002, going to the Russian rocket forces and saying, I'd like to buy two of your biggest rockets, uh, but you can keep the nuke. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a lot more. Um, and uh, and this, that was 10 years ago, I guess, so um, they, 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 I, they, they thought I was crazy, but, but I did have money, so that was, that was okay. Uh, um, and after making several trips to, to Russia, I, I came to the conclusion that, that actually uh, uh, my, my initial impression was, was wrong about uh, that, because my initial thought was, well, that, that there's not enough will to explore and expand beyond Earth and have a Mars base and that kind of thing. But I came to the conclusion that that, that was wrong. Um, in fact, there's plenty of will, particularly in the United States, uh, because the United States is a nation of explorers, of people who came here from, from other parts of the world. And I think the United States is really a, distil a distillation of the, the spirit of human exploration. So. Um, but, but if people think it's impossible, then, uh, or it's going to completely break the federal budget, then they're not going to do it. So af after my third trip, I said, okay, well, what we really need to do here is try to solve the, the space transport problem and, uh, and started SpaceX. Um, and uh, this, this was against the advice of pretty much everyone I talked to. Um, my one friend made me sit down and watch a bunch of videos of rockets blowing up. <laughs> Um, let me tell you, he wasn't far wrong. <laughs> uh, th th it, was, it was tough going there in the beginning uh, because I'd never built anything physical. I mean, I'd built like little model rockets as a kid and that kind of thing, but um, I'd never had a company that built anything physical. So I had to kind of figure out how to, how to do all these things and, and bring together the right team of people. And, um, and, and so we, we, we did all that and, and then failed three times. Um, it, it, it was tough tough going. Um, because the thing about a rocket is that the, the, the passing grade is 100%. Uh, and uh, y you don't get to actually test the rocket in the real environment that it's going to be in. So I think so the best analogy for, for rocket engineering is, is like if you want to create a really com complicated bit of software, um, you, you can't run the software as an integrated whole and you can't run it on the computer it's intended to run on but the first time you put it all together and run it on that computer, it must run with no bugs. <laughs> that's, that's basically the essence of it. Um, so so we, we missed the mark there. Um, the, the first launch, I was picking up bits of rocket near the, near the launch site. It was a bit sad. Um, and, uh, but we, we, we learned with, with each successive flight and, uh, and were able to, with, uh, eventually with the fourth flight in 2008, uh, reach orbit. Um, and that was also with the last bit of money that we had. So um, th thank goodness uh, that that happened. Um, it, I think the saying is fourth time's the charm. <laughs> um, so that, so we, we got the Falcon 1 to orbit. 
and then uh, began to scale that up to, to the Falcon 9, which is um, about an order of magnitude more a thrust. It's uh, around a million pounds of thrust. And we managed to get that to orbit and then uh, developed a Dragon spacecraft, uh, which um, recently was able to dock and return to Earth from the space station. Um, that was... Uh, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was a white knuckled event. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a it's a huge relief. Still can't quite believe it actually happened. Um, but but there's a lot more that ha that 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 must happen beyond this in order for humanity to be to become a spacefaring civilization and ultimately um, a multi-planet species. Um, and that's something I think it's 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 vitally important. And and I hope. Um, that, that some of you will, will participate in, in that, either at SpaceX or, or at other companies, because it's just really one of the, the, the most important things for the preservation and extension of consciousness. Um, I mean, it's worth noting, as I'm sure people are aware, that the Earth has been around for four billion years, and uh, civilization, at least in terms of having um, writing, has been around for 10,000 years, and that's being generous. Um, so uh, it's it's really uh, a somewhat of a tenuous existence that, that uh, um, civilization and, and consciousness as, as we know it has, has been on Earth. And I think um, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually fairly optimistic about the future of Earth, so I don't want to, I don't want to sort of people to have the wrong impression that I think we're all about to die. Um, <laughs> I, I, think, I, think we'll, I think things will most likely be okay for a, for a long time on Earth. But not, not for sure, but most likely. Um, <laughs> Um, but, but even if it's, if it's sort of 99% likely, a 1% one, uh, 1 chance is still, it's still worth uh, spending a fair bit of effort to ensure that we have, um, we've backed up the biosphere, you know, planetary redundancy, if you will. Um, and, uh, and so I think, I think it's really, really quite important. Um, and in, in order to do that, th there's a breakthrough that needs to occur, which is to create a, a rapidly and completely reusable um, transport system to Mars. Um, which, which is one of those things that's right on the borderline of, 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 of impossible. Um, but that, that's sort of the, the thing that we're, we're going to try to achieve there with, with, with SpaceX. Um, and then uh, on, the, on, the, on the Tesla front, uh, the, the goal with Tesla was really to try to show that what, what electric cars can do, because people had the wrong impression. We had to um, change people's perception of an electric vehicle, because they used to think of it as something that was slow and ugly and had low range, kind of like a golf cart. Um, and and w so that's why we created the Tesla Roadster to show that you can be fast, um, attractive, and, and long range. Um, and, and it's amazing how, um, even though you can show that something works on paper, uh, you know, and, and the calculations are very clear, until you actually have the physical object and they can, they can drive it, it doesn't really sink in for people. Um, and so that, that I think is, is something worth noting. If, if you're going to create a company, the first thing you should try to do is create a working prototype. Um, you know, everything, everything looks great on PowerPoint. <laughs> you, can, you can make anything work on PowerPoint. Um, but if you, have a, if you have an actual demonstration article, even if it's in primitive form, that's much, much more effective for convincing people. So, um, so we, we made the Tesla Roadster, and now we're coming out soon with the Model S, which is a, a four-door sedan. Uh, because after we made the Tesla Roadster, people said, oh, sure, sure, we, we always knew you could make a car like that. It's an expensive car, uh, and it's low volume, and it's small, and all that. But you couldn't make a real car. Uh, I'm like, okay, fine, I've got to make that too. Um, so that, that's coming out soon. Um, and, um, yeah, so that, that's, that, that's, that's the... I think the, 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 the where things are, and, and, and hopefully that there are some lessons to be to be drawn there. Um, but um, I, I think the, the, the overarching point I want to make is that um, you, know, you, you guys are the, the magicians of the 21st century. You know, um, don't let anything hold you back. Uh, imagination is is the limit, um, and um, go out there and create some magic. Thank you. <laughs>